It's that time again. Let's debate over the debt ceiling. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's thin majority in the House comes into focus this week as he attempts to pass a bill to raise the debt ceiling in exchange for cuts to spending. But is this all 2011 all over again? Joining us now to discuss is Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman, the first big test here for Kevin McCarthy. Right. And the big question this week is whether this Republican bill uh, that would end the debt ceiling impasse for about a year can pass the House. Uh, let's call it 50-50 chance that Republicans can agree on this bill. And uh, because Republicans have a very narrow majority in the House, they need basically all Republicans except for three or four to vote for this. So that's the first question. Can Republicans pass their own bill? Uh, and then we get um, two other ways this could go. If they can pass the bill, then Democrats are going to have to respond somehow. There's no chance that uh, Democrats who control the Senate will um, will pass the Republican House bill. But if the Republicans can show some unity and show that at least they can pass their own plan, then Democrats are going to have to respond with a plan of their own. And that could lead to some negotiations. And we have not really seen any negotiations at all so far. If Republicans cannot pass their own plan, uh, then we are back to a state of chaos. And that would even raise some questions about whether Kevin, Major uh, Kevin McCarthy can remain as House Speaker. So um, we're going to get just a little bit more clarity this week. We're not going to get a resolution to the whole debt ceiling standoff, but we're going to get a little bit more clarity about what comes next. So that is the best we can hope for by, let's call it, Friday afternoon. So then is more riding on the Republican side being able to show that united front versus, say, if they are able to pass it, does it put the Biden administration in a more difficult position then? I mean, I, th I think in the bigger picture, it's important for everybody to keep in mind here. Uh, we could easily just raise, Congress could easily just raise the debt ceiling. There's no reason uh, Congress can't raise the debt ceiling and we could just put all this away, which has happened many times in the past. Uh, this is all about politics and about messaging and about optics for the 2024 presidential election. Uh, Republicans, as they have done before, uh, when they are the, the opposition party that does not control the White House, trying to show that they care about the gargantuan level of federal debt, even though they have contributed to that debt by cutting taxes uh, and making the deficits larger than they should be. Um, so this is entirely about politics. This is not about a real problem in the borrowing markets or the funding markets or anything like that. Um, and what I'm seeing analysts start to say is it's going to take some sort of market turmoil to get the politicians to resolve this thing. Um, I mean, you all, everybody wishes it didn't have to come to that, but that's where we are. So if you start to see the stock market slide because of worries that this is going to cause a default, that might be the very thing that gets these jokers in Washington to solve this problem.